Hello! Hi, I'm Pony Girls. Welcome back to another fantabulous Horse Valley adventure. I'm so sorry, Oreo. Anyhow, for today, I decided to record seven reasons, seven ways on how to make money in Horse Valley because, well, as some of you may know, there's a new Horse Valley breed, and a lot of people probably want it. I mean, look at that beauty. But it costs a decent amount of money. So in this video, I'm going to be buying the horse and showing you all how to make money in case you want this horse or any other horse in the game. Enjoy the video! The first way to make some good money in Horse Valley is to train your horse. Now you might be thinking, I can make money from training my horse? Well, kind of. If you train your horse, which takes a lot of time in the game, then you will continuously get a lot of paychecks. So, you get to level up your horse and get some money from it. The second way to get some good money in Horse Valley is to buy the VIP Game Pass. Now, the VIP Game Pass, it's, it's cool, but it is very pricey. And if some of you are wondering what the special, let's see, what does it say? The special accessory for your horses, honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't look that good. I mean, this is what it looks like. Here, that's what the VIP, I honestly don't like it. It just, it just doesn't look good to me. But hey, if you like it, that's a good reason to get the VIP Game Pass. But anyhow, the VIP Game Pass, it gives you a special chat tag like this. Hello. And it also gets you double the daily rewards, which is really cool. You can make some good money while training your horse and getting paychecks. But if you also have the VIP Game Pass, even more money. So, yeah, I really recommend getting it. So... The third way to make money in Horse Valley, which is probably what most people see the only way, is to farm. Now, if I'm being honest, I don't really farm. I really don't ever pull these up because I think it looks cool with my house. But if you want to, you can, you know, go to the supermarket, buy some seeds, plant them, water them, that kind of thing, and harvest them. Then sell them to Benedict over at the supermarket. That just sounds like a, a lot of work. I just, I'm more focused on getting all my horses max, maxed out and all that. But, um, yeah, that's definitely a good way, though, to make some money is farming. The fourth way is chopping some wood, which I actually do quite often. I don't really chop wood for money and sell it to Benedict over there. I usually just do it to get some more items for my ranch. But all you have to do is just simply get out your axe and start chopping. Collect all the materials that are dropped down and sell them. So it looks like all this time I got apples. Well, I'm not selling these. I'm going to feed them to Starbuck. You know I am. The fifth way is to go fishing. I'm going to be completely honest. I have hardly fished in this game at all. The only time I've fished, I believe, well, one of the only times, is on the Easter event, if anybody remembers the Easter event. Um, yeah, I didn't really, I don't fish a lot in this game. It's just not one of my things. But just pop out your fishing rod and just uh, swing it. Yeah. You can get some money and sell them to Benedict over at the supermarket. Yep, there's a lot of selling on these, so... Yeah, good luck! The sixth way is to go mining. Not many people might know that you can mine in this game, but you can. There's a cave right over here, which is actually right where my ranch is. Looks like I can just teleport. But um, it is right here. And... It's pretty cool. Another thing I don't mind a lot, I only did it during the Easter event, but from time to time, whenever I'm doing role plays, I just like coming through here. It's just, it's a really cool area to just walk your horse through. You can picture the hooves just trotting along on the railroads. Okay, that's just my image. But here's what you can mine. They are all over this little cave area. Seriously, all over here. So 
Just go into your backpack, pop out your pickaxe, and happy mining! The seventh way to make some money in Horse Valley is by selling your horse. Whether you want the newest horse in the game, or you just really want a new horse, or you're just trying to make some money, selling a horse can be an option. I so far have only technically sold one horse in the game. I used to have a, another Misty, actually, which is my Clydesdale Frisian mix, but yeah, you know that up that problem in Horse Valley where they had Sermon had to reset some of the stats? Well, I lost Misty, so I had to buy her again. But honestly, I'm not that upset about it. I mean, she's already maxed out, not a big deal. But anyhow, I've sold another horse. It was, I think, a Clydesdale Floral Bread mix, and I just didn't want it. I mean, I just breeded it over at the breeding station over there, and I was like, I don't really want this horse. Why did I do this? So I sold him. But I don't really regret it all that much because I really wasn't going to use that horse. So if you're like me and you really aren't going to use that horse, then Go ahead and sell it, but remember, be very careful because you might sell a horse you really, really love and you're really going to be heartbroken by it because you're like, oh no. But remember that it's just a game. So if you happen to sell one of your horses that you didn't mean to, it's just a game. But uh, yeah, that's definitely an option for you. Those are so far the only seven ways that I can think of to make money in Horse Valley. I'm sure there are possibly a few other, but honestly, that's all I can think of. So without further ado, let's go ahead and buy this beautiful horse. So a few days ago, Serming added an update. He added a new breed, the Mohawk Maid. But he had the Mohawk Maid? How did I not see that? Oh my gosh, wait, I did not see that. Anyway, he added V-Tax, Zebra Tax, Tiger Tax, Lord Price, a tier of Frisian. You get the point. A lot of stuff was added. But as always, we Horse Valley fans, we only think about one thing, a new horse breed. So let's go ahead and check it out. If I'm pronouncing this correctly, the Andalusian. I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but this is the horse. Truly beautiful because, oh, paycheck. When you look at these horses, they are beautiful, but notice how they're mostly very dark colored. I've been actually really wanting like a white Appaloosa, a white, white horse, because we had the Frisian. I really want a white horse. Well, thank you, Sir Ming. I mean, I'm an absolute awe. Oh, look at these beautiful markings. I just, I love the horse's hooves, the muzzle, it's just truly beautiful. Look at the ears! Okay, I could go on and on, but, wow, okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy it because you know what, why not? I mean, why not? Give me like seven reasons, why not? Although I might be pretty much out of money. <laughs> That's okay, because the seven reasons I said in this video, I can do them and make my money back up. So, let's go ahead and buy this horse. Ooh, it's gonna be a mare. Let's do it. <gasps> Whoa! Your new horse has been awarded extra XP because your other horses were above level 20 when max level was lowered. <gasps> that happened with Starbuck. I bought a Forebred like a few weeks back and um, he was already maxed out. I was like amazed because I didn't even have to work on it. Um, before the max level was lowered, I was so close to getting my Frisian Duke maxed out. And I was pretty, I was pretty upset because I was like, oh no, I worked so hard, but forget that. I mean, I have two horses already maxed out and I didn't even have to work on it, but First of all, we have to switch her to English because if you watch my previous Horse Valley videos, I'm a big English rider, okay? I, I'm i an English rider. I, just, I love English. So yeah, all maxed out. I'm so happy. Now we got to think of a main name of this beauty. Oh, 
I, I love her so much. Let's find a pretty tack. A uh, mohawk. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness, that's a lot to take in. I think I'm gonna keep her in the beautiful braids though, because that just looks pretty. Let's find, oh, she's going to look so beautiful in the snow. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm like, I'm already thinking about that. I'm already thinking about that. Okay, we'll come back to the accessories. We need to find something that really suits her. Mm, whoa, that's a bit too much. I think the marble looks nice on her, but I'm just debating. Let's see, no, I think her tack. Yeah, the tack I had her on looked really good. I'm gonna try to change that back. There we go. Yeah, I, I like this. I really like it. She looks really pretty. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I have, I have not had this much money since literally the beginning. This is the lowest I've been in months. I, and I don't regret it one bit. I mean, usually I'd regret it, but for this beauty, I don't regret it. Oh my, this shows you how much I love this game. Only a Horse Valley lover would go insane about this. We can just call her Andalusian, if I pronounce that correctly. We gotta think of a better name, a more proper name. So done some thinking. I can't think of anything. <laughs> One name popped in my head, Willow, which is a beautiful name, but the thing is, just yesterday, I saw somebody who bought this horse also, and their horse's name was Willow, so I wanna find a more unique name, but Willow's a beautiful name. So if you have a horse in this game that's named, horse, uh, named Willow, beautiful name. However, I'm all about the unique names, at least as unique as I can get them. So, yeah, I'm gonna be thinking a while. A, a while, I mean, the name has to be perfect for this beauty. I mean, come on, people! This is the first, like, totally white technically horse breed in this game i mean look at how different she looks compared to these she's so beautiful i'm thinking also that serving I mean, these two are going to be pastures because i was actually wondering i was like why is she over here is she like an event horse but i think he's going to switch this to another pasture for horses to buy that's going to be cool i cannot wait until the appaloosa comes along I'm really hoping it's a leopard Appaloosa, but oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyhow guys, I think that about wraps up the video. I really do hope you enjoyed this fun, fantabulous video. Um, I really hope the seven ways I said on how to make money in Horse Valley will really help you, especially if you're wanting to get this horse breed or maybe other horse breeds, because making money in Horse Valley can be very time consuming, just like training a horse, but Keep at it and you'll make money. I also really hope you all enjoy this breed as much as I am. I know some people maybe don't have enough money to buy this beautiful horse yet, but you know what? There's always Robux, okay? If, if you're as crazy about this game as I am, there's always Robux, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, remember to click like and subscribe and I really hope you all enjoyed this video. See ya. Hey guys, before I end this video, I would just like to remind you all that I do have a official Instagram account. And I've been thinking, for a while what that horse breed's name is going to be and I can't think of anything so if anybody has any ideas make sure to talk on my Instagram account where you can also find where I'll be posting you know all my latest videos just like this video so if you all are interested in following and liking all my posts then go ahead and do that have a fantabulous day guys bye <laughs>